What's up, Unlocking Your Inner Strength listeners? How would you like to know how to flip the time intensity curve on its head to become prolific with your time? Well, I got good news for you. I've put together a special report showing you how to do this. It's normally $45, but since you're a loyal listener of the show, you can get it for only $10 at unlockingyourinnerstrength.com forward slash time. You're listening to The Inner Strength Show. If you want to step into your greatness, you've come to the right place. Here is your host, the human strength expert, Kyle Newell. What's up, everybody? It's Kyle once again from Unlocking Your Inner Strength. And as I was saying last week, the website is now kylenewell.com. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sharing the show with other people. And what I want to get into today and next week and next week's episode are, are some cool things that uh, I've come across or developed myself that's going to help you become more self-aware. And you might say, oh, that's boring. Well, the more self-aware you are, the better you can be at life. The more things you can accomplish, okay, the faster and higher you can go. For today, I developed a list of seven struggles that are very common to the everyday person. Now, these seven struggles can apply to any area of your life. I'll use them probably in this case. I'll refer to diet so you can see real life examples. But as we go through these seven, I'll list them first. I want you to think of which one is the biggest issue for you. Now, if there's all seven on your list, you need to put a hierarchy on it because one will usually have the biggest impact. Once you clear up one, that'll usually help with the other ones. And I'm actually going to do a uh, a big seminar at Newell Strength this October, and this is going to be a part of that. It's going to be on success and a success mindset. That seems to be what the consensus was as far as what people wanted to, to learn about. So the seven struggles, you have a lack of time or procrastination. I'm going to lump those two together. A lack of discipline. You have motivation issues. A lack of support and accountability. That goes together. A lack of a plan. A lack of confidence. And the last one I would say would be an energy issue. So I'll repeat that again. Lack of time or procrastination. Lack of discipline. Motivation issues. Lack of support or accountability. Lack of a plan, which is going to lead to overwhelm, energy issues, or issues with your confidence. So let's start with number one. And these are not ranked in any order. These are just what came out of my head, and that's why I read them in that order. Lack of time or procrastination. Now, you have to have a mind shift if you're going to address this issue. Everybody has the same exact amount of time. Everybody on the face of the planet has the same exact amount of time. Now, people that are, are successful learn how to manage in their their time and energy better than people that have not succeeded in whatever they're trying to do. That's it. But we all have the same amount of time. So you could say, oh, I don't have time to do that. And that leads to procrastination, meaning you just keep putting it off and off and off until it becomes a life or death situation. Because when people are faced with death, they're usually going to find a way to succeed. So let's use that with nutrition. Let's say... You have a guy who's overweight, big pot belly, high stress, and he keeps telling his wife, I'm going to make time. I'm going to do it. 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 I just don't have the time right now. Don't have the time. Keeps putting it off, right? But he's making time for other things in his life. He's making time for something else that's just more important to him at that current spot on his timeline. Now, once he has that massive heart attack, it gets real. Shit gets real, right? Now it's moved up to the front of the line. His life is on the line and the time will suddenly appear. Somehow he'll have this time that he didn't have before. Well, his priorities shifted. So you got to keep digging deep. You see what I'm saying? When it's a lack of time and it's causing you to procrastinate, you got to keep digging deep to figure out what is going on. Why is it that I'm not making the time? And you could always get up a half hour earlier. That's always an option. So that's one of the first things. Number two, lack of discipline. Now, to me, willpower and discipline are two very different things. Discipline is more of a habit. 
There are many mornings I do not want to get up before five o'clock, but I've conditioned my mind to do that. I've conditioned my mind to be disciplined. I use the five second rule. The alarm goes off, five, four, three, two, one, get up. I bring my human brain into the equation. And I'm, if I'm, once I'm up for a minute, I'm good. I'm ready to go. But that's a discipline thing, right? Willpower is finite. Once you use it up, it's gone. All right. So at the end of the day, after you've had a long day and you have other obligations, other commitments, that part of your brain that uses willpowers is shot, literally running on empty. Now, discipline is like a muscle. The more you exercise it, okay, the more you exercise it, the stronger it is going to become. So discipline would have to start, as I call, as an invisible thread that you want to turn into a steel cable. Don't go from doing nothing to saying, I'm going to get up every day at 4.30 and go for a jog for 40 minutes. That is crazy. The brain doesn't work like that. Start by saying, I'm going to get up when my alarm goes off each day. I'm not going to hit snooze. And then all of a sudden you get that. It says, oh, you know what? That's, that's pretty good. I, I, I can do that. That's not a big deal. Then you add to it. But discipline really is that ability to say yes to the things that are important, say no to the things that are not important. Now, number three on my list is a motivation issue. Maybe you lack motivation. Well, I like inspiration more. Inspiration doesn't go away. Okay? Inspiration comes from within. Motivated sometimes can be external, which the only issue with that is you have to constantly tap into it on a daily basis. And I'm going to talk about that more when I get to the confidence one. But motivation, if you have a motivation issue, really what you're saying is you haven't figured out why this this diet, why this transformation is truly important to you. It's not just to lose weight. It's not. I'm telling you that. That's the story you tell yourself. But it's it goes much deeper than that. If it's just, I want to wait as much, that is not strong enough to tie you in to creating a transformation. When I do the five, six, seven with people, when I keep digging to find a fifth, sixth, and seventh answer of why they want to make a transformation, those are the real reasons. Once you know those, motivation becomes a non-issue. It might be to see your, your kids grow up and have kids. It might be so you could run around with your grandkids. It might be so you could extend the quality of your life for 10 years. But when, when you know those and they're front and center, you're not going to have motivation issues. Motivation issues arise when people are focusing on a short-term change. And they're trying to use willpower to accomplish whatever they want to accomplish. But remember, if the road you're going down, if you're using willpower, you're going down the wrong road. The purpose of any goal, right? So if you have these seven struggles, it means you're, you're struggling to achieve a goal that you have set. But the purpose of any goal is to bring you more happiness. So if it's not doing that, if it's making you miserable, you're on the wrong path. I know that was kind of an offshoot of motivation, but that's how, in my mind, I think about it. Hopefully that helps you. What's up, Unlocking Your Inner Strength listeners? How would you like to know how to flip the time intensity curve on its head to become prolific with your time? Well, i got good news for you. I've put together a special report showing you how to do this. It's normally $45, but since you're a loyal listener of the show, you can get it for only $10 at unlockingyourinnerstrength.com forward slash time. Now, lack of support or accountability. So many people that I've come across say, I want to do it, but my wife doesn't support it. Or I want to do it, but my husband still wants to eat like junk, or eat like crap. And sometimes you just need somebody to answer to. That's the value of having a coach. I have multiple coaches in my life that I pay very good money to to coach me. I know I have to answer to these guys. I know that they're going to hold me accountable. And it's, it's not as much them holding me accountable. It's just knowing that I have to answer to them. Am I going to show up to my next session with one of my coaches and say, uh, I didn't feel like doing it. I didn't do it. No, because that, that goes against the, the law of congruency. I invested a lot of, a lot of time and money into these coaches. And if I do that and I don't act on the stuff, right? It's just a waste. It goes against what I had said I was going to do or what I believe in. So to solve the lack of support, you need to find somebody that, that's going to be an accountability partner. Could be a friend. Doesn't have to be a coach. Could be a trainer at the gym. Could be your, your husband or wife or child. It doesn't matter, but having to support, because things are going to get tough. Everybody's got issues and struggles. It's not going to just be an easy path to whatever your transformation is. You need to find what that support is. 
and the accountability. And if you don't have anybody to go to, post on Facebook where other people can see what you're doing. Write in your journal. Write a letter to yourself every night, whether you or not you are accountable. And also in that letter, have compassion. Support yourself. Focus on the small wins. The next one is a lack of a plan, which is going to lead to overwhelm. When you don't have a plan with anything in your life, you start to pile a lot of shit on your to-do list. And when that happens, you become overwhelmed. The brain becomes overwhelmed. You can't focus on more than uh, one thing at a time. You cannot multitask. But if you have a plan and you know you want to get to the top of that staircase, all you have to do is take that next step. That's step number one in your plan. Then put the other foot forward. That's step number two. So developing a plan beside, before you decide I'm going all in, but I don't know what I'm doing. That's not going to work. Then you're going to get frustrated because you might do well for a week or so or two weeks. Then the lack of a plan is going to catch up, up with you. Your brain loves patterns. Remember that. Prediction and response. So if you're going to undertake a diet or anything else in your life where you're going to transform your mindset, your body, you need to know what's coming and what to expect next. And then you can move forward much easier. If it's a lack of a plan and it's because there's a lack of information, pay somebody to talk to them for an hour that knows. Look stuff up. Go to the library. Look on Google. Order books. So you see, it's just like the other stuff, right? Lack of a plan can be solved very simply. It might require time, but it's, it can be solved very simply. Number six, I'm actually going to put six and seven together. They're two separate things, but let's talk about them together. Energy and confidence. The two assets that are the most important to us that, that we protect are confidence and energy. If you're not confident that you're going to be able to be successful in this plan that you're going on or this journey that you're going on, you're not going to succeed because the mental imprint yeah, you think of everything on the outside world in your life is really a, think of it as like a, a hologram projection like they had in Star Wars. And that's the projection of what goes on in your mind on a minute to minute and daily basis. So if you are saying, I'm not confident I can stick with this, I'm not confident I can make the transformation, you're not going to do it. So the way I protect confidence, and this is, I would recommend some variation of this, is I listen to a lot of motivational stuff when I'm driving around or doing my morning workout. Then before bed, I write down my three wins for the day. Could be little things. Could be very little things. But three wins. And then I'll read a couple pages of a self-help or a motivational book that I keep on my bedstand. That's it. Nice and simple. And energy. If you are not sleeping, if you are not taking care of yourself, okay, Meaning you're, you're not, you're not resting when you need to. You're not exercising, not eating the proper things, just emotionally drained from things you're not happy with in your life. You're never going to be able to stick with the plan. Just like confidence. You need energy. When you're, when you're energetic, when your energy's on point, everything becomes easier. Everything looks easier. There's nothing you can't do. So managing your energy. Now we do that through things like meditation. And sleep, sleep is the king. You can get six hours of quality sleep a night. I know you can. That's typically what I get. I don't like to do less than that. It's not tough if you do less than that. Managing your energy, knowing how your body functions. I know that if, if, I, if I get that six quality, my energy's good. If I go seven, that's good. Eight's too long for me. I start getting achy, literally. I don't know why, but it, you know my body's not designed to sleep for eight hours at a time. So those are the seven struggles. Now, hopefully something I said resonated with you. You said, man, that's the issue. Now, again, what I want you to do is don't focus on all of these. Don't focus on all of these. I'm going to post this list on kylenewell.com under the blogs. The full article will actually be the entirety of this month's Unlocking Your Inner Strength newsletter, about 12 to 14 pages this month, where I go into a depth, a lot of the stuff, a lot more. But pick one of these things. Okay. And work on that. And as always, let me know if you need help. Now, a lot of these things, last thing I'm going to, going to throw at you is the pitch for the mastermind that starts in October. I have three spots left in that. It's 90 days. It's an investment. 
It's four ninety seven a month, but your ass is going to be held to the fire if you come and join my group. And my guarantee is that whatever we set as your 90 day outcome, we will achieve if you follow what I tell you to do. But that, you know, I'm going to attack the seven struggles for most of these people in the group. Anyway, you can find out more about that at unlocking your inner strength.com forward slash mastermind. I have to find out if the other uh, site works like that. Not, not a huge techie guy. And please leave a review. If you haven't not left a review yet, that'll help me out greatly. And I'll be back next week. We're going to talk about some other cool self-awareness stuff, kind of down a different path, but stuff that's going to help you become more dominant in your life as well. So take this stuff and use it. Thanks for listening, guys. Peace. You've been listening to The Inner Strength Show. If you enjoyed the show, remember to subscribe, rate, and review us in iTunes.